guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Jordan Tractor Log Videos. Um, this is my 1964 Long Ranger. I restored this one on, uh, I did some restoration updates on it on YouTube. Probably about a year ago now, two years ago. And this is the tractor. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little rundown of what's going on with it, what's happening. And anyway, this tractor... When I got it, it was a basket case. It had a mower deck on it. The, it was it was horrible. The, the rear rims were shot. They were all rotted out and everything. These rear rims came from Portland, Indiana, from a swap meet. Uh, a friend of mine had bought them out there for me. The front rims were off a snapper rear rider. Uh, the front rims were roached. Um, same way with these caps in the front. They were off a snapper. Um, I just put a fuel line in it, filter on and off valve, rebuilt the carburetor, and I'm still having problems with it running right. Um, I'll take the hood off here and I'll show you guys kind of the underside. So this tractor in particular has kind of a rare, this filter here for the come see, this is kind of a rare one. You don't see very many of these. It's a uh, comb style. It's flat. It's narrow. It's hard to find. I've only seen them on this one and a couple others on uh, wheel horses. Um, like I said, I rebuilt the carburetor and I started it up for the first time and drove it a little bit today. For the first time in almost, I don't know, it's probably been two years. I never drove it. I just got it finished restoration. I pushed it off the bench and put it away. I never got to drive it, but uh, I got it running. Um, it doesn't run very good. If you listen to it, it's got that surging problem. And I'm trying to get it out of it. I just cleaned that. And I cleaned it and everything. And I can't get it. out so it's got a fuel problem definitely it's in the carburetor um getting ready for a tractor show in a few weeks and i'm debating on just letting the fuel run out of it and drain it and put it on the shelf that's a cool little neat little tractor and all it just it's little it's small for me this might be something someday for one of my kids that i can eat, have for them this is just not for me i don't I like this model. I like them. I do. I just it's too small. So, but I just want to give you a little update of it. You know, the rims were a hard. I had a hard time finding the new ones because they were all rotten. The hood's been worked on also. The engine was off a Decumcy snowblower. The original engine that was in here was rod knocked. I had to put a bronze bushing in. Um, new decals, trial cables, all stainless steel hardware. Everything. I put caps in the rear of the rim so the rust don't get on. I put grade eight bolts to lock on the wheels in the rear. So those are the snapper caps. I painted the cover, uh, pull start cover black. Um, these throttle cables, wires, kill switch. Seat got off eBay. New knob. New decal. Got caps in the rear of the rim so the rust doesn't get in there. These tires are original wheel horse 64s. They have to be a one inch shaft to fit the axle. Um, like I said, I use grade 8 bolts to hold on the wheels. There they are. Grade 8 bolts. So. It's a fairly nice tractor. It was done very well. It's one of my nicer ones I own. So you guys go ahead and hit subscribe to my channel. Um, check out all my other videos. Um, I'm going to post this one up today. 
and uh, we'll see you next in the next one. Catch you soon. Thanks for watching.